Hello everyone. Welcome to day seven, 18. Day 18. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're like two thirds of the way through October. Crazy. I am ready, or at least as ready as I'm ever going to be today. I've done my makeup, I've put my hair up, because it's going to be 80 degrees today, so I'm not going to wear my hair down when it's 80 degrees. That's not going to happen. I'm just about ready to go. I just need to put my shoes on, get my handbag switched over, get my bag switched over because I used the backpack to go over to my parents' house. I need to put everything back into my my teacher campus bag and yeah, just do all those last little bits. And then I need to pick up some stuff, the mailbox and in the office and then get to campus. I'm gonna try to get to campus a little early so I can get some work done in my office. I have quite a bit of work I need to get done. I need to finish up my lesson plan for the day, figuring out what I'm gonna do for the peer review activity, just stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that my friends are gonna be in the office today, so I know I'm gonna be talking to them, so I just wanna give myself extra time to get everything done in between chatting and stuff. I'm gonna park in the parking garage near my building today because there's a football game tonight and where I park is where I normally park the place that my permit is for is the main parking area for the football game so it's right next to the stadium so if I get there before one I could still park there but then I'm going to be taking the bus back through all of that chaos when I get out of class tonight so I'm just going to park because my building is on the complete other side of campus, where I teach, where my office is, all of that. So I'm just gonna park in a garage and pay for parking over there and just avoid the football chaos completely. It's the one downside about where I park. Well, not the one, because how far it is is another downside. But, you know, the price, it's the cheapest place to park on campus, the cheapest permit to get. But the kind of trade-off is that when there's a football game or a basketball game or anything like that because both the arena and the stadium are over on that side of campus by that parking lot then it's kind of a pain but usually it's Fridays and I don't park there on Fridays so usually game stuff doesn't impact me but it is today so just gonna avoid it pay the money it's $15, which I could buy a ton of other stuff for $15, but oh well, it'll be worth, it'll be worth it to not have the stress of parking there, that is for sure, because it will stress me out if I park there and have to deal with it. I know that much. I'm just going to put some lipstick on really quick. Despite the weather, I'm still dressing as autumnally as I can. Not so much in weight of my clothing, but in colors. So I've got my wine colored trousers on, which I'm really, really loving. Um, and then I've got a kind of burgundy on my nails. It didn't go on that well. So I'm going to need to redo these, but from a distance, they look okay. And then uh, this is the Bite Beauty in Glace, Glass, Glace. I don't think there's an accent over the E, but it's really small font, so I can't see. But it's the Bite Matte Cream Lip Crayons. I love these. I've got these in two shades, and I really, really love them. I'm gonna wear that today. Ears are doing well. I cannot wait to change these earrings, though. Like, the earrings are fine. They're very comfortable. They're great for sleeping in. Like, I don't even feel them when I'm sleeping. I haven't felt them even that first night. Like, I think I was just more concerned about it than actually feeling it. But I just, I want to wear bigger, prettier earrings. <laughs> Although someone did give me the tip back at the beginning of October to not go straight to wearing bigger, heavier earrings right away, which is a very good tip. But I just feel like some slightly bigger studs. <laughs> Or some hoops, something, something more than these little chips that are in my ears. And I also, when I go to get them checked, I need to get the smaller posts because these aren't a really long post so that if my ears had swelled up, it would still fit. But my ears haven't swollen up and so sometimes they'll end up sticking out like that. Can you see that? And I kind of feel like I'm Frankenstein's bride. Like, I know they're in my ears and not in my neck, but it just feels like I've got these little socket things sticking out. And so I'm constantly, like, pushing them back in to make sure that they're not sticking out from my ears. Anyway. 
<laughs> I'm trying to put myself back into a better mood. I wasn't in the best mood earlier, which is why I didn't vlog doing my makeup. Plus, you've seen me do my makeup at least a few times already this month. So, but yeah, time to get my bag together, get everything ready to go, and then get on the road. So I will take you all with me, as usual, because that's the point of daily vlogging, to take you guys with me. <sighs> dinner. It's about 20 after 7. So I got home probably about 35 minutes ago or so. I'm halfway through an episode of Outlander, so <laughs> I'm about 29 minutes into the episode and I know I've been home a few minutes longer than that, but I pretty much just dropped my stuff as soon as I walked in, got a tray for my Chipotle dinner, stopped Chipotle kind of couldn't help myself. I mean, there was a sign on the highway saying that there were extreme delays starting around my exit, so I thought, well, I should get off before my exit just in case it's backed up more, and so by getting off the highway where I did, I pretty much had to drive right past Chipotle, so I kind of had to stop for dinner, right? <laughs> I also have an order from Dress Barn to open up, so I thought I would do a 
short little clothing haul and I'll try things on so we can see how it all works. I kind of bought this thinking I would return at least one piece. Hopefully I don't have to return more than one. I got three tops and one dress. I was primarily looking for tops, but I was also looking at some dresses just to have something new to teach in. So the tops will all go with either my black work trousers or my wine colored work trousers. So this first one I really like the feel of. We've got lace around the top, kind of across the back, and then lace on the sleeves, um, and then this cute little like bell flared sleeve and then lace all down the center front, which is really cute. It feels nice and light, so I think this would be nice even right now with it being back up in the 80s. I still think this would feel really nice wearing it. I think I'd probably need a tank top underneath it, but we'll take a look when we try it on. And I could probably wear it tucked in, but then it's also, you know, it's more of a tunic style. I don't think it's super long, so we'll see when I try it on, but I think this will be nice. If the lighting has changed, it's because the screen has gone back to like the main menu screen. I've had it paused for too long. I've paused the episode. Then I bought a white cotton blouse. At least I think it's cotton. Let's double check. Yeah, it's a cotton polyester mix, 65% cotton, 30% polyester, 5% um, spandex. So it's got a little bit of stretch to it, which is really nice. It's just your standard white button down, but it's got this really pretty lace panel down the front. I thought this would be really nice tucked into um, a pair of trousers, I think tucked into a pencil skirt, and if I can get like a really nice wide belt, I think that would be really pretty, especially for the holidays, if I can find like a glitter or sequin belt, something a little bit more formal. Um, I think the lace on this would let me dress it up for like a more fancy event but I think it's also still work appropriate so um, really really hoping this one fits because I have one white blouse but it's just kind of plain really hoping this one fits though <laughs> and then the last top before we get to the dress is a little bit more for when it gets cooler but it's pretty lightweight so I think I could wear it even now it's kind of like this burgundy color right now and the lighting is awful but it's like a burgundy top and then it goes down into like this faux hem with some lace and then some plaid and then the back um, is like plaid so kind of a loose fit and then the sleeves are kind of like a t-shirt style so hopefully this fits and isn't too big on me um, all of these are in a size plus size 2x um, that just kind of seems to be what I am at Dress Barn. And then the dress, I always struggle with their dresses. Sometimes they look really nice online and then they're really cheap in person. So this seems a little bit lighter weight. I thought it would have a little bit more structure to it, so I'm a little worried. But it's really pretty. It's got this kind of floral, not quite paisley print, but kind of paisley. It's got sleeves, which I really like. It's so hard for me to find things with sleeves, but they're not like thick sleeves. So then it's got this kind of border print along the hem of the sleeve as well as along the hem of the skirt. It feels a little bit flimsy. I kind of wish it were had a little bit more structure to it. So this might be going back. We'll see. So I'm going to go into the other room where the lighting is a little bit better and where I've got a full length mirror and I am going to try all of these on and show you how they look. Fingers crossed at least some of these things get to stay. Okay first off do not mind the mess behind me. I need to have another serious clear out declutter of my whole vanity area. So this is the first top. I'm actually I don't know. I don't mind it. I feel like it fits pretty well across the chest. I like the more open neckline. I don't mind the sleeves. I think they're cute and they fit pretty well. I don't feel like I'm restricted in the shoulders. I've got good range of motion. Um, I feel like it seems a little big in the waist, but I don't know. It might... 
I don't know. I think it's laying okay. Um, it doesn't look too big at the back. I'm not sure about it with dress pants. I think it might be cuter with jeans. So it might be more of a casual top. I could try tucking it in. That might... I don't know. I think tucked in, I like that a little bit better. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera, but tucking it in a little bit makes it seem just a little bit more professional to me. I do like the kind of beige with the wine color of these trousers. I'd probably wear it with these more than the black, so I don't know. We'll see how the other ones fit, but I'm actually not minding this. I think tucked in it works for work, bloused out with skinny jeans and like ankle boots. I think it would be really cute for like lunch at zinc or something. I definitely do like the lace detail. I think that's really pretty. It's a little sheer. I feel like in this lighting it's okay. I think out in daylight I definitely would feel more comfortable with a little camisole underneath. So that's the first one. Okay, so here's the white blouse. I've got it kind of tucked in but bloused out. I think tucked in flat I like, but I would want a belt just to add something there, but I don't mind it bloused out either. I think this with a blazer could be really cute. I think untucked with a blazer and skinny jeans could be really cute for a more dressed down look, but also tucked in with a pencil skirt I think could be really nice for any holiday parties. Not that I go to a million holiday parties, but if I did, I think this is a good blouse to add to my top collection because it's not just a plain white blouse. It's got a little extra something. The sleeves are really nice. They've got some stretch to them so they feel really comfortable. I don't feel restricted. The back looks good. It's not like super gaping at the back. I think I just need to play around with tucking it in versus blousing it versus untucked. Um, I think that will depend on the bottoms that I wear it with but overall I do, I do like this. It's very comfortable very comfortable. I just I just feel like I want something to define my waist more. Whether I'm wearing trousers or a pencil skirt, I think having a wide belt of some kind would be really nice. I'm going to keep an eye at Target and maybe Dress Barn when I go to return some of the other things from a previous order. I do need to go make a Dress Barn return, so I think I'll look at their belts there. Really liking this. Definitely think I'm going to keep this. So let's move on to top number three. Okay, top number three I'm really not sure about. I love it from the front. I don't really like it from the back. And despite being the same size as the other two tops, I was afraid this one was going to come up too big and blousey because it's a knit. It actually feels tighter. So I'm not too thrilled about that. I definitely would wear this with skinny jeans because it does feel like there's more volume around my hips and so I feel like I need the skinnier ankle fit on the bottoms, but it feels really tight across the chest um, and just tight in the arms and just tight in, uh, tight in the places I wasn't expecting it to feel tight. The knit is just feeling like I'm feeling the knit stretch, whereas the back where it's all blousey, like that's fine, but it just feels like this top t-shirt part is like a size too small. Yeah, I think I'm going to return this one. Now we're going to try on the dress. Okay, the dress is a no. <laughs> <laughs> the dress is an absolute no. It looked so cute on the model, and I just feel like it looks so cheap on me. And I'm, I'm in fairly flattering lighting right now. Like, it's not harsh daylight that's showing every lump and bump. I feel like in broad daylight, I would just be absolutely not. It's got no structure to the dress so it's definitely showing everything. I would need some serious shapewear for under this and to me that just kind of defeats the purpose of wearing 
a dress like this. I like wearing dresses so I can just have it be an instant outfit and I can just add some shoes and some jewelry and go out the door and I just feel like not only is it very body conscious in the cut, like I'm not even going to pan the camera down, it also feels very tight up in the shoulders, very tight. I feel like if they double layered it the whole way down or if they'd made it out of a thicker knit fabric, but yeah, I just feel like the fabric is all wrong for this dress and it, it's not even a matter of not being confident in my body shape. It's that it just, like, I'm okay with being plus sized. Like, it, that's my body. That's what it is, what it is. But it just, there are ways of making dresses. And this is one of the hazards of Dress Barn is their designs are cute, but they're made very cheaply, and so in person they just often don't look as good. I want to like it. I really do. I think the print is cute, but it just, it feels like I'm wearing hardly anything because the fabric is such a lightweight. This is a big disappointment. I'm not really liking this dress. I'm really not happy with this dress, um, which is such a bummer. So the hunt for a good dress continues. I really would like to have at least one casual dress. Like I just like that this one seemed like I could just throw it on and go, that it was nice enough that I could teach in, but it also seemed casual enough for just any day. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep looking. All right, time to sort all this stuff out, package up the two that I'm taking back. I'll try to do that this weekend, if not next week sometime. And then I need to go finish watching the episode of Outlander. <laughs>